Hey guys, Icy here. So in this video, we're gonna do some commentary for some IC clips and some sword clips that I did with Grim Storage Gaming and Sinful Duck. Oh, and we got a Sork here trying to run past us. Gonna hit him with some light attacks and then immobilize him with the Wall of Elements. Minor Mangle with the Frost Pulsar and then do the Permafrost to lock him down so they can clean him up. So right now I am running the Baron's Cruelty build. I'll put a link in the description below for that. I typically run it on my Imperial, but she's on EP and we are running on DC. So the only Warden I have is an Argonian. And I always say that all my builds can be copy pasted onto any race, any class. So it's not a big deal. So we're going to head over to that district, but then I saw Sinful get blown up, but it was too late to do anything. And I think he was actually AFK. So he got killed there. And you got two EP jumping on me, so I'm just going to line of sight, hit the Purify synergy from the Templar there. And Grim came back, so now we're going to turn to, um, turn around and fight this guy. We do get the kill off, which is good. And that Nightblade on the right there is, you know, not a friend, but we have a mutual respect because we were trying to fight him earlier, so we're just going to leave him alone. And we're going to, let's see here. Right now, I'm just trying to figure out what the hell we're going. But, yeah, nothing else going on there. That other guy just disappeared, so we're not going to worry about him anymore. So, right there, you saw the rallying cry go off. That was from that other guy outside of our group. And I always thought it worked like this, where even if you were inside the party or outside the party, if somebody has rallying cry, everybody's going to get the buff. But that is not the case. You only get the buff if you are in the party with that person. So... Uh, those two EP over there, that's the Nightblade, and I think Kubicon is that werewolf guy. We fought them earlier, and, you know, mutual respect, so we're not going to mess with those guys. So no big deal. And they were just trying to get the world boss anyway. So now here we have 8 AD here, picking on 1 DC, so we're going to jump in here in a couple seconds and fight that whole group, because, you know, Xing is fun. So I'm going to run in with Permafrost. I don't have my Major Resolve up, which is, you know, typical of me. going to hit the... Arctic Blast to give myself a Burst Heal as well, do some damage. Pop the Budding Seeds twice, one for the Burst Heal, then one for the Hot. I am taking a lot of damage, so I'm just going to back away, do some jumps, and line of sight as well, since I am taking a lot of pressure here. Going to hold block and keep hitting that Arctic Blast until I can get some pressure with the lead. I think Simple tried to help me out there, and he did um, take some damage to pull it off me. I did get a Resto Heavy to get some resources back, and now I got my Resto Staff all going for the Life Giver. Still taking a little bit of damage, so I'm just gonna line aside a bit. And now I'm good. I'm not taking as much pressure. So Sinful, he's out of stam. I'm gonna try to body block for him, but unfortunately it's not enough, and he does go down. So, but we own the district, so he'll be back in a couple in a minute here. And I'm just gonna play it safe, but I'm not taking as much damage, so I'm gonna go on the offensive and throw down my Wall of Elements and Arctic Blast to do some damage, as well as get the Minor Mangle proc on people that I can. Simple's back now, so now we can keep on fighting. And a lot of the AD already dropped, so we're just going to try and clean up a couple of these guys here. Get the Resto Heavy off to maintain my resources. And we're going to chase this guy here. We almost get the kill, but, you know, DKs are OP as hell, so it's always a, it's always a process to get, you know, take it down on DK. So he gets a fossilize on that on that pug guy. Then he does a ferocious sleep onto us, knocks his back, and he's able to survive. And you know, we're gonna just mess with this guy for a few more seconds, and then we're just gonna turn him away and go after the other guy. I'm not sure why we stopped, but he gets turned into Telvar, because you can see at the bottom left. So we're not gonna worry about that anymore. And we're gonna chase this guy now just for a little bit here. And then that Nightblade from earlier is gonna come in and chase that guy down so we don't have to, which is really good. That Nightblade, I think his name is Fate Stay Nightblade. He's really good, reminds me of Grim Hollow. And we fought him earlier for like five minutes and we could not kill him and he couldn't kill us, but he was, you know, one VXing, so not much we could do there, but he's really, really good. We're going to chase this EP down here and with the Wall of Elements, and he goes down right at the last second. So, that was the AD clip here. And I think we're going to kill Polaris here. No, we're just going to leave him. So, we're going to go over to the next district and then transition clips to the sewers. And, of course, when you go through these doors here, make sure you throw down your AoE hots or dots just in case someone's going to try and gank you so that you already have something cooking. The second clip 
is with Simple Duck. We are going to chase this one guy down here, hit him with the light attacks on the Frost Staff to proc the Miter Brittle and Miter Maim. Then go Wall of Elements to mobilize him at the door and then pop the Permafrost since it just came up to lock him down so Simple can clean him up and get the kill so we can enjoy his nice 300 Telvar each. All right, and the final clip here is going to be a 2v... You're going to see 5 AD come out the door, but there's actually a 6 AD that was already outside somewhere. We're not going to see him until we get to the room two rooms over. So this is going to be a fun fight, and our buddy Rotten, you can see him logging in. He's going to join us in about like a minute or so to help us clean up these guys here. So we're going to go in and engage on these guys hit the budding seed so we got a hot going and then hit the overflowing altar and then the arc the blast to get some damage and as well as the uh, burst seal for myself taking a lot of damage gonna hit the life giver and then trying to line sight back here a little bit block do some body blocking for simple i do hit the wall of elements there um, right as I come out the door so you're gonna see those guys get immobilized as they come through and come out which is pretty good Make sure I got the Shimmering Shield to block projectiles and also get my Major Heroism all going down. Gonna do another Life Giver. I don't want to save up for Permafrost in this moment because we do have the disadvantage. Gonna go get a Restore Heavy off, which does not actually finish, but I just did another one so I got my resources back, which is good. Gonna try to do some more line of sighting and go back the other way. Did drop down another Blood, to blood Altar so that Sinful can utilize that Blood Feast synergy. Make sure you got, got the Radiating Regen going off and going to keep trying to spam that Arctic Blast as well as the Life Giver since it's just the two of us here. We're just going to transition back to the original room that we started and let's do some work. So I got the Wall of Elements on the ground, going to get that Arctic Blast cooking, doing that AoE damage as well as getting some stuns off. I am procking that Major Mending from my Resto Heavy Attack and just you know rotating my buffs and stuff. Got the, the Blood Altar down as well. Spamming that Arctic Blast. Got another Life Giver. As soon as I did the Life Giver, I'm gonna go do some heavies because I got the all that health coming in to heal me. I have time to do a free heavy attack or two to get my resources back to full. So do another Life Giver. Do some more Wall of Elements to do some damage. You know, and just kind of rinse and repeat. And you know, we do have Rotten coming in right about now, so he's gonna help us clean up here. And you know, now it's a 3v5, but they do have a Storm Match knock and some pets, so that is doing a lot of work here. I'm going to use my Life Giver and then try to invite Ryan into the group because I kind of knew that we were good You know, once I got a feel for the situation in terms of what their skill level was, so I wasn't really too worried about it. So he did actually bring the Ice Banner with him, and when they drop their Ice AoE on the ground, if you're not paying attention, it's going to mess you up, just like it did all those guys here. So that kind of concludes the fight there. And it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, you know, don't mess with the banner because, uh, <laughs> yeah, the ice banner, you know, the ice and the necro, those guys are really, really dangerous if you're not familiar with, you know, how they work down in the Imperial sewers. So, yeah. All right, that is the end of the clips. I will do more of these commentary things, play by play, whatever you want to call it, and we'll catch you on the next one.